You got to be kidding me. Seriously? How the hell do they not put online co-op in Scott Pilgrim versus the world? Makes no sense to me. It really doesn't. That has got to be one of the best beat em up games I have ever played. It's freaking fun as hell. And, like, seriously, come on. Online co-op, you really freaking need it. The world's most amazing! <laughs> the world's most amazing! <laughs> That was awesome. No, that was not awesome. Oh, uh, what's up, guys? Um, I haven't come out with a video in a long time, and my videos seem to be getting more infrequent than I want them to be. But I really can't control it. I've just been like completely cramming when it comes to school, studying, and just doing a whole bunch of art projects and whatnot. Speaking about art projects and school, uh, if you guys did see that that other video. Where I had all my video games out and stuff like that. It was because of an art project. I'll be showing that um, probably now. Um, and it came out pretty freaking good, man. It, it really came out really came out looking good. Uh, I know a lot of people in the class, when they saw it, they were just like, oh, this looks pretty awesome. Um, but what else? What else have I been up to? Uh, I just finished this. And I gotta say, awesome. This game is really freaking good. Uh, I've always been a fan of like Stephen King, um, his his books. I haven't read his books personally, but I know a lot of his books have been converted into movies. And I've always been a fan of those movies. And if he ever came out with an actual game, they, I mean, Anna Wick will probably be it or something very similar to that. But it's a very, very, very good game. Excellent AI, fantastic story. Um, it's it doesn't really get boring ever. The like difficulty kind of jumps sometimes. So sometimes it'll be, you know, very decent, and then other times it'll just get like ridiculously fucking hard. But um, it's a it's a really good game. Uh, other than that, you know, I haven't really been up to much. I've been playing a lot of Scott Pilgrim playing Alan Wake. I I have um, a file in Resident Evil 1 right now that I'm playing on my phone. If you guys saw that. Uh, Chrono Trigger, Sonic 3. Um, I'm pretty, I'm trying to pick up Resident Evil 1 Remake. I just, I, I had popped it into, into my Wii um, and started playing that a little bit. And also, which is pretty cool, I, I was under the impression that my Fancy Star Online character got deleted by my brother because my brother had the memory card and he had tried to play the game at his house and he said that that the file got corrupted uh well to my surprise uh i got the memory card back from my brother because he wasn't really using his his gamecube anymore or whatever his he wasn't using his wii anymore um and i got the memory card back i put the memory card in and i was like i was searching through it just to see what games i had in there i had like you know tales of symphonia I had Eternal Darkness, uh, Time Splitters 2, a whole bunch of files from from my old, like, from when I used to play GameCube big time. And I saw, I saw Fancy Star Online on there. My jeans, jeans instantly creamed. I creamed my jeans easily. And I was like, you know what, let me, let me try. Let me just see what the hell my brother was talking about. So I put it into, into the GameCube and, dude, I couldn't, like... I could barely control myself. My character was there, safe and sound, still at the same level I left him on. I never reached level 200 in Fantasy Star Online, um, but I'm right now my character's at level 134, I believe. Uh, I have freaking beast webs. It's it's ridiculous. My my mag was brought up from scratch. No hacking on my mag or anything like that. Uh, I must admit there were some duped items that I did have only because if you played Fantasy Star Online. For GameCube, after the servers went down, uh, pretty much trying to be legit was risking all your items being lost. And you wouldn't really get what I'm saying unless you play the games. Um, but a brief explanation would be if the servers at times would crash and whatever item you would have on you, you would keep. 
every item that you did not have equipped, you would lose. So you could imagine like all the weapons that you worked hard to get just being lost instantly. So you had to duplicate your items or else you were in risk of, of losing all of them. But uh, that's pretty much it. I've just been up to, you know, trying to play some of those older games. I've been I've been actually wanting to see if somebody wants to play some Fancy Star Online, try and see if we could get back on that hack server. Just you know, just one or two days. I know it's not if if we try and play, it's not going to be something that's going to be able to continue for long because everybody has different schedules and whatnot. But um, I just want to update you guys just to see uh, what I was doing and whatnot. But um, other than that. Nothing much. Uh, I don't know any games that I'm planning to get other than Battlefield Vietnam. Um, by the way, Call of Duty Black Ops, fucking garbage. I don't know why you spent money on that game. Seriously. Like, uh, Activision is the new EA. And uh, the new EA is the old Activision, I guess you could say. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I have so much more respect for EA now. Back then, they were considered like... <laughs> fucking totally interrupted right now. And... Activism, they just... They, they, like, they really stopped. It seems to me like they really stopped caring. So... Um, I'm, I'm not a big supporter of Activision... Um, and I just don't see myself buying a lot of their games in the future. And that's only out of respect for the gaming industry because the gaming industry is changing so much. And I hate to see these uh, these big money-hungry companies um, think that they can jump in the game and just start, you know, regulating and whatnot. When it's always the little guys who, who put the most work in. So um, until Activision gets their shit together... I don't plan on buying too many of their games. Um, it would have to be something extremely, extremely, extremely good for me to uh, for me to actually go out there and buy it. But um, I respect EA now. Uh, that space. You can call me like whatever a fanboy or whatnot, but it's just the way I think. I don't like to see you know other companies get herbed around just because you know Activision thinks they're the shit because they got lucky. By having a, a company like a studio like Infinity War work for them. And then they go ahead and shit all over them. Um, so, whatever. This video went from like A through Z. Uh, nothing. I never stay on topic. But uh, there you go. Thanks a lot. Um, comment. Subscribe. Whatever the hell you want to do. Uh, and hopefully I'll be back sooner than later. Peace.